So also, I just figured out that all this stuff with the police activity, police reform, you know, the racism, all the different isms that are going on in our society, it's always been brewing under the current, well, and sort of. It's been like this bubbling thing at the surface, but it hadn't really exploded. And so sometimes you have to force an explosion to get some kind of resolution. Okay, so what's going on right now, which, you know, which makes sense actually, with all the different riots and the police activity and whatever, it's been an ongoing issue with racism and the police, how they deal with people. Okay, and yes, you know, uh, biases. And so what we're seeing right now is kind of a controlled evolution where you're forcing now everything to come to surface that's been brewing under the surface for a while. Um, and that's no different than the J juice. The J juice is that you're bringing everything up to surface that's been brewing in your body that's causing then specific behaviors and thought processes and reactions. So the virus, all the different riots and the activism, it's all stuff that's already within the community, but it's a brewing type of thing that does cause irreparable harm to children and animals and people and communities. And so at some point there's got to be a forced evolution at some point. And that's, I think, what's really going on with the NWO is they're forcing the evolution in our society because we still have archaic ways of viewing each other. We know people have unconscious biases around cultures, around groups of people. We know that. We know there isn't an equal way that we deal with each other. I mean, have I ever been hurt by the police? No. Every time I get stopped, they're just being very polite. But sometimes a police officer who has dealt with things will then do preemptive strikes, of which then causes then what you've seen on CNN and Fox and all that. And so that's what that must be addressed at some point. And so, yes, it is a bloodlust and it is a loose energy that needs to come to surface because until humans as a whole in all the communities have healed from all the past indiscretions of our of our forefathers predecessors um you know all it, it, then it's going to be an ongoing issue so i think what we're seeing right now is a major evolution the nwo is majorly forcing an evolution of which then some of you are going to have a hard time with I know I did because I didn't really understand it. Now that I'm now that I've cleared more of my gut, I understand about loose energy and bloodlust, and then understanding about J juice and why everyone thinks J juice is so crazy and so like why the hell would you force some kind of you know pain and, and, and feeling all this stuff and facing your demons? Well, look what's going on. Our government is forcing you guys to deal with the demons that we have created. And, and it's, I don't, you know, and people say, well, are you saying that it's a conspiracy? That they're doing? No, but it's just, it's, it, it, we're bringing to surface everything that we've ever had to deal with that was pushed below the headlines or they were run on the headlines, but no one really did anything about it. And so whatever you give energy to is going to is going to force you to deal with it, whatever you give energy to. And so they're giving a lot of energy to the racism and the police brutality and and all the isms and and you know rape and all that crap that women deal with and what people of color deal with, and so we're given all the energy because we know that's a that's a brewing under the surface, that's an undercurrent, that's the underbelly of our society, and so now it's time to flip the script, and you know and that's what you're seeing the whole reparations, I mean all of that, and and I get it, I mean I have no problem with it, I have no problem, I, I don't care, I want everyone to succeed. So they're trying to do it on a, on, a, on a conceptual, intellectual level, as well as physically try to force an evolution, which, okay, it could happen on some level, but you also have to support that evolution correctly. So will the NWO support it correctly? Well, what remains to be seen? We'll see. We'll see how it all turns out. No matter what, there's going to be from $7 billion to $500 million at some point. So you know that there's going to be that 
scaling down the population through the viruses and all the different activism. But at least you kind of understand what's going on. It is a forced evolution that's bringing to surface what's been brewing under the surface. No different than jelly juice. And so, yeah, you see people react to jelly juice. You see people react to all the activism. You see people react to all the different police brutality. And it's all the same stuff. It's unresolved. It's devolution trying to evolve. Unresolved issues coming to surface. Okay? And that's how it needs to be looked at. And so this is where you individually can heal yourself and take yourself out of the war because you know those that have been triggered by the police brutality, by racism, by rape, or by domestic violence, they're going to react. And it's going to, it's going to bring to surface so much stuff for so many people. Some people will survive the evolution, others will not. And that's no, no matter what. That's in everything. That's with jelly juice. If you're not supporting jelly juice correctly and and you still do all your antibiotics, you're not going to survive your potential attempt to evolve. If you're, you know, if you're going to go out there in the streets and be like, yeah, you know, we need to, 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 to equal power to people, whatever, and you get caught up in someone else's war where you have no control over the people in that crowd and you happen to be caught in the crossfire, not everybody survives that evolution. That's why you say be very careful what wars you enter into be careful who you attack because you have no idea if it's not on your terrain, you have no idea what's in store for you or, you know, what the intention is. Okay. And so self-evolution where you really don't have to involve anyone else except for your, except for how you, and like I use Facebook as my, Facebook has been like the best thing for me because many, not many people in my world either literally here in Ohio or even in California would be would be would, would understand where I'm coming from. So there's no way I really could talk to someone about this. And a few people on the stages I've talked to on the phone and they get it and they have their own issues, but I can't be on the phone with them every single day and be like, oh my God, and just unload because they have their own issues. So I'm not going to exploit my, my friends on JJ's either. They have their own shit to deal with. So I take it to Facebook and that is what's absorbing all of my revelations, my loose energy, my calm energy, my whatever. And then you guys can see how that manifests. Okay. So, so I don't necessarily have to involve somebody else. I don't necessarily have to involve my mother or my sisters or my dad or whatever. I mean, if they want to watch me, great. If they don't want to, that's fine. Everybody has a choice in the matter. And I'm not forcing my evolution on anybody else. Um, I've done that where I've tried, I've crossed boundaries and I get it. And so this is where all the, the healing and the, and the realizations come from. But just understand what's going on in our society with all the, all the activism and the riots and whatever. It is like being on jelly juice. Okay, it's bringing to surface what's been brewing under the surface for centuries. And it's going to get ugly. Hey, John, it's going to get ugly. It's not going to be pretty. But just expect it and, and take yourself out of the war and just observe and just keep your keep, you know, just keep your head down and keep your nose clean and, and just heal yourself. Heal your family, heal your friends if they allow you to. Or drop information that is going to give them a choice and not place a judgment on what they're doing. Because I'm telling you, Jilly Juice, if you understand Jilly Juice, Jilly Juice can deal with and work with any situation, okay? But I'm telling you, there's so much loose energy and so many unresolved issues and so much healing that needs to happen that right now our society is going through probably the worst um, healing process you'll probably see for a while. And that's no different than you guys taking on Jilly Juice and going through your healing process. And some of it's going to be rather painful, like very painful. And some people have issues that they didn't know they had or they thought they resolved them and, it, and it's coming to surface and they have to face it. And sometimes people have to face it alone or you get on Facebook if you don't want to face it alone, but you don't want to destroy somebody else because you're trying to heal. And that's the thing is you don't necessarily need somebody else to really heal you. Um, you don't need to have your mom or your dad or whatever, or your sister or anyone that you have an unresolved issue with to, to be that sacrificial lamb. You know, you find an insulation that can absorb your energy without it, you know, shouting back at you <laughs> type of thing. 
and you release it, okay? And so that's why I do what I do on Facebook because it's a way where people can absorb my energy and release it, convert it, use it, convert it to their benefit, and then release the excess. And so it becomes a chain reaction of releasing the excess. They take the energy, they process it, and then they convert it. My dog shiver, stop it. And then they release it, okay? And so it's just finding that release, that healthy release, without destroying somebody else. And that's why I say again, if you're going to contact me, make sure it's not something that's going to trigger me. And how do you know? Just send me a fucking testimony because that will not trigger me into anything horrific where I'm going to sacrifice you. Send me a testimony. That will always make somebody happy, especially in Jilly Juice world, right? But when you start asking questions about Jilly Juice, uh, at some point, I mean, I mean, I'm not going to react. I'll just ignore. But I just, you know, just don't do that. All right, I'm going to go do my thing. But remember, everything that's going on out there is an evolution. We're in a major evolution in body, mind, and spirit, and political, scientific, and religion. We're in a major evolution. So buckle up, bitches. We're in for a ride. You can deal with it. You have the J-juice, and you understand what's going on at the micro level and the macro level. All right, bye.